Okay, sorry for the shaky camera. Today is treatment round three and I am not prepared at all. <laughs> I am feeling a little sad because I don't want to do it and because I feel so good right now. Like nobody wants to go back to feeling not good. Um, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm doing a power walk because I don't know how good I'm gonna feel for the rest of the week doing my walks and I really like my walks. So that's it. I'll check in with you guys once I get there and uh, get started with round three. Hey, it's me. This is treatment three. Here's my chemo pull. We are at the beginning of October, so I wanted to make sure to do some Halloween themed things. We are in the older unit, so I'm gonna show you it's not the same as like the rooms I've been in. So I was able to take Ativan. I've been really struggling with nausea and she gave me Ativan, which should hopefully help with the nausea. Um, we had lunch today and it was delicious. I got a goat cheese salad. So I'll eat while I can before this medicine always changes my taste buds and I taste, it, everything tastes awful for like a week and a half. So I ate myself a good salad and uh, that's it. I am ready to get this over with. I really had a hard time coming in here today. I did not want to do this. Um, dreading it. But we're here. We're decorated and I'm full <laughs> and that's it. They did tell me these next two rounds for AC are gonna be the worst. So like, I think knowing that is also a mental game cause you're like, you know it and you're also trying to prepare for it. Um, but for me, I'd rather know than just be like blindsided. So that's it. I mean, uh, we'll check in probably tomorrow like I do. I'll check in tomorrow and see how we're feeling and tell you how the night went. Okay, so here for the realness, today is day one past chemo and when I tell you the exhaustion is, it's no joke. Um, I've not had anything this bad since the beginning. I, um, I got up, well, I came home from chemo yesterday at like 3.30 and I slept probably from like six o'clock to eight. I got up, I had some dinner, and then I went out again for the rest of the night till about 6.30 this morning. I woke up, I felt like I had some energy. I got the kids on the bus, um, and then I just crashed. I literally have slept, it's 3 o'clock right now, and I think I have slept 90% of the day since the kids have gotten, um, gotten on the bus, so... I'm dragging it and that's not even like that's <laughs> that doesn't describe it <laughs> and doesn't feel like doesn't matter how much I sleep I um, I can't get with it so that's it I'm frustrated because I am NOT the type that likes to lay around all day and um, I feel like there's so much to do and it's just not not happening I got cam home He's watching something on YouTube and the twins will be home soon. Chris took a half a day because I'm really not functioning well and uh, I'm frustrated, I guess. I guess I'm sad and I'm frustrated because I really hate feeling like this. But I want to be real with you guys and tell you how I'm really doing. Um, so, so far, round three of AC is, um, it's kicking my ass, like really kicking me down. Um, that's it. I am a little bit nauseous. Not too bad right now. The only thing I'm really, f and I'm like a little achy. I take Claritin, which helps with the bone pain. <sighs> Sorry guys. I don't have bone pain, but I am, I'm achy. Almost like you have the flu. So, uh, not fun. <laughs> so I'll check in and hopefully it's better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it is morning of day two post chemo and I'm definitely feeling like trash. <laughs> um, <clears throat> losing my voice again. I am nauseous. 
I'm forcing myself to eat because I have to take the steroid for the day. Um, so I made a, I'll show you. I made a protein pancake. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them. They're called Kodiak cakes and they're protein pancakes. Let me show you the box. Um, they're really good. They sustain me. Hold on. This is what they are. I really don't have much of an appetite, but they sustain me through the day um, so that I can take that steroid. And I usually always choose like eggs or something in the morning for me, but my stomach feels just like a total acid bath. Um, so all I really want is something carb loaded and I don't want to eat like regular pancakes. So this is a good alternative for me. I added some blueberries and that's it. I am so frustrated to the point of tears because I'm definitely someone who go, go, go. And this thing is just this week, especially, um, I'm feeling like I'm going to get the kids on the bus and I might just sit down and I hate that because that's not usually me. I'm going to attempt my walk, see how far I can make it. That's it. So I wish I could be like, woohoo, everything's great. It's not <laughs> like at all. Um, I'm definitely frustrated and I'm like angry again that I am dealing with this, but I'm going through the motions and I know it'll be over soon and I'm trying to stay positive. I'm just ready to not feel like this. So I'll check in soon. Every day that goes by, I really hope it gets better and I'll let you know. This Red Devil AC treatment is not treating me well, but I'm still smiling when I can. So check in tomorrow. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I'm back. I did not vlog the couple of days because when I tell you that I was so sick, I couldn't even lift the camera. I kid you not. Um, I was so sick and just so weak. Um, I just, I couldn't, I, I literally couldn't lift the camera to uh, film. So those two days I basically took off. I did not film. But here I am, you see I'm on my walk. It is Sunday morning and it's nice and chilly, which I'm enjoying, and I'm finally able to walk again. Um, I'm probably at like 85%. My stomach is still a little off. Um, most of my energy is back, so that's it. I'm definitely feeling already anxious about the last round. At least I'm 75% of the way through the AC treatment, and then we can start Taxol. I have no idea what Taxol is going to bring for me, but at least I got to get through that AC round and uh, Cameron's birthday. It's going to fall on my anniversary and Cameron's birthday and Halloween. Um, so we're going to see how that's going to go. But I did make Cameron's birthday party for November 6th. His birthday is November 1st. I made it for November 6th so that at least I'll have like a week where I should be off of chemo. Um, his actual birthday, I'll probably be really sick, but at least I should be better for his party, which is going to be at a bowling alley. Anyway, I will check in. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll check in before my next treatment and uh, let's go. Let's let this adventure, oh, I'm so ready for this adventure to be over, guys. I really am. I really am, but I'll check in soon.